such skill. So much power. Impressive. You could kill me. Why hesitate? The dark side embraces lies and hate. The light side serves honor and truth. We have more in common than you think. Jedi and Sith have no common ground. Darth Angrel commanded me to destroy the Shock Drum Code. He wanted you to die in failure, no matter the outcome here. I will not tarnish my honor with petty tricks. You've earned better. The code is yours. You've done the right thing. Darth Angrel ordered that Master Kuix suffer greatly before her death. I wish I had disobeyed that order as well. If Master Kuix is still alive, I will save her. I left her incapacitated next to your weapon. If they haven't already, the ultrasonic vibrations will eventually tear her apart. You scum! You should die like that! There is nothing more to say. You won our duel. Finish me. You may serve the Empire, but I won't kill you. You don't deserve it. Then honor demands I surrender to my master. He will do what you cannot. Jedi are taught to see all possibilities. I see one where you live on with honor. Commit yourself to the path of light. Become a Jedi. Me? A Jedi? Impossible. Your order would never accept me. Jedi believe in forgiveness, not hate. Accepting a sworn enemy into one's ranks without fear, that is strength. I accept your offer. I'm too wounded to aid you, but I will surrender to your people. Now hurry, save this planet. Sith changed the deactivation code for the shock drum, but I have the new one. I'm on my way. You're not there yet? Brick and his family are in terrible danger. They followed their droids to the mining complex. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to help you. Brick just sent an emergency hollow. He says there's something called a sand demon at the mine. It's attacking them. Some sort of creature? That beastly predator is the only thing that hunts crate dragons. And those are massive. Brick doesn't stand a chance. Please, you can't let anything happen to Brick and his family. Save them and stop the shock drum. Hurry! I can't sense Master Kuix at all anymore. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you keep the bunker? Oh, good old Ompi Bedwana, Nipopo Chopa Uma. Ubanya! so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? All that matters right now is you're safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance, 
cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. What you did was miraculous. We'll handle things from here. I know you faced terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the sand demon. I've never seen anything like it. Rick was almost a meal for it. Good thing I got here in time. That's the second time you've saved our little family. Thank you. And let this be a lesson to you, Brick. No more running off pretending to be a hero. My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? Uh, all that work? The people who died protecting it? Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. Master, you've just been through a terrible ordeal. Will you be all right? Do not concern yourself with my welfare. I am still a Jedi. Before we go, you need to know something. And I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you. You're not like most Jedi. That's a compliment. No offense to the Council, but if I stood around moralizing all day, I'd need a padded zero-G cell. I'd rather be out in the galaxy making a difference. All I'm saying is, using the Force can be fun. The Order needs to lighten up. Being a Jedi is more than just rules and responsibilities. Someday I'll put a shock buzzer in Master Satil's chair, just to liven things up. You better have my back. General, Doctor, good news. Master Quicks and Seismologist Heron are safe. Even better, the shock drum was destroyed. Destroyed? Blast! I wanted to inspect that prototype. Such a promising design. The only thing it promised was to destroy planets. Honestly, I'm relieved it's gone. I've just received a surprising report from one of my cruisers in the area. A pure-blooded Sith Lord named Praven surrendered to it. He mentioned your name. Anything I should know? He was one of Darth Angrel's apprentices, but he's joining our side. I promised we wouldn't hurt him. Keep finding new ways to impress me. I'll order my people to hand the Sith over to the Jedi Council. They'll know what to do. Let's hope your mission to Alderaan goes as well as it did here. Varsuthra out. General, I'm on Alderaan. Have you heard from Master Orgus? Negative. Considering the chaos there, it's a wonder any messages get through. Alderaan's a war zone. The nobles are fighting to decide who's in charge, and whether this world aligns with the Republic or the Empire. Your weapons project is to secure Alderaan for the Republic. My people developed a Deathmark weapon to end this conflict with surgical precision. Extraordinary device. It marks targets with a microscopic tag. Undetectable. Tracks targets anywhere on the planet. Feed the target's coordinates to a focused beam laser, and it can kill them from across a continent. Since when is the Republic in the assassination business? If I can save a billion lives by killing one man, I'll gladly pull the trigger. The death mark has one regrettable disadvantage. The targeting device's range is extremely limited. Twenty meters or so. 
Once a target is marked, however, the laser can hit it from any range. I fear efforts to guard the weapon have failed. Master Orgus's last transmission came from Organa Palace. After that, nothing. Could someone in the palace have betrayed Master Orgus? House Organa is the Republic's strongest ally. Something's happened, but not on their end. Count Alder was the last to see Master Orgus. He co-funds the Deathmark project with us. I tried informing the Count of your arrival, but communications there have been crippled. Reports indicate multiple whole relays destroyed. Standard Imperial battle tactic. House Organa can't spare the troops to get their hollow relays online. Maybe you can help? I'll restore communications, and then meet Count Alda. Transmitting hollow relay coordinates. If you get them up and running, it'll tighten House Organa's defenses. You'll find Count Alda at the Embassy near Organa Palace. Good luck. Marsuthra out. <laughs>